is Scary Blessing with Diesel the Deer Tracking Dog. Today on uh, Midwest Outdoors, we've got a deer track for you. Um, Alex called me last night, texted me last night about 10.30, said, uh, hey, I shot a deer. I think it's a little bit back. Um, what do you think? We talked about the scenario. What happened last night? Last night's afternoon sit. Um, got in the tree stand around 3 o'clock, and um, the deer stood up around 4.30. Pretty much saw him stand up out of his bed, and uh, he snuck behind the tree stand. So I, I spun around to the other side and got him a quartering away shot, and I, I did hit it a little bit back, a um, little bit high. But tracked blood for a while, had good blood, but decided to back out. And uh, around 10.30 last night is about when I uh, called Gary and looked yeah. him up on Facebook. All right, let's get the dog out and let's get rocking. You want to go tracking today? Huh? You, you want to go tracking today? This is Diesel. He's a Bavarian mountain hound, five and a half years old. He knows what the game is, huh, Diesel? All right, let's go tracking. So what, what do you think about all this commotion this morning? It's exciting. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yep. The Plains, only thing you care about boats. is whether your deer is dead or not. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm hopeful, but yeah. Yep. Well, like you know, like we were talking, if you're under the spine, I, I, you know, I like your chances. If you're yeah. over, you know, we're not going to find them. But you seem pretty confident, so we'll, we'll see where she goes. We're about to, we'll find out here in a few minutes. Diesel will tell us. So I was sitting there and I was, I was turned this way. So I shot him through this last hole. Uh huh. So he was got. He had to be right here. Standing here. Yep. He takes it. Takes and it. What does he do right here? He splits those, one of those two trees yep. and heads just on a slight curve that way right there. Okay. All right, I'll get him started. I'm uh, getting my GPS ready, getting him into a uh, uh, his pre-track ritual. So to me, I'm just marking the hit site. I'll drop a pin where we're at, and I can drop pins as we go. All right, you boys ready? Yep. Diesel. Let's go to work. What's Diesel doing right now? Looks like he's was sort of putting some puzzle pieces together. Right now, he's sorting out what's foot traffic, what's deer traffic. He's mapping the scent that's coming through his nose. He's he's putting the puzzle pieces together for himself right now. This is good tracking behavior right here. Low to the ground, not erratic. His tail position. He'll move his tail back left and right, left and right. He's double checking his work. So we're, we came back for a restart and uh, we came across more blood. I confirmed it with peroxide. So we're gonna let diesel start again if he takes us back the same way. Peroxide's gonna foam, um, you know, when it in presence with blood. Sometimes there's, um, uh, it looks like blood on vegetation, and sometimes it's just the vegetation. So, peroxide juice to just confirm what we're thinking, and definite blood there. I'm gonna say this is 1,300 yards from the hit. So, there's what we call a, a sort of cocktail of scent coming off that deer. Yeah. Blood, hair, saliva, dander, bodily fluids, bunch of, you know, hormone dump. Um, and a big one is interdigital gland. That gland that's in between their toes. And what we think is that interdigital gland plays a big factor in deer that know that they're fatally wounded. And so I tell people all the time, blood doesn't mean much to diesel in terms of whether the deer is dead or not. So if he's got blood, he'll follow it. But if he doesn't have all the other components of it's dead, follow me, it's just some blood. That's what I think we're, we're dealing with. We just, we keep doing this, but eventually, you know, you know, the sort of the scale is tipping in terms yeah. of my deer's telling me that you're, my, my dog is telling me your deer's not dead. All right, so unfortunately we didn't come up with a deer today, but after two and a half miles and multiple restarts, uh, we did end up jumping the deer today, um, which was good. You know, at the end of the day, 
you know, we want to wrap your tag around a deer's uh, antler today, but you know, the second best option that we have and the second best answer that we have is, you know, the deer's not sitting here rotten. Um, and uh, you know, sometimes that's what we do is provide those answers. So Diesel did a great job. Um, it wasn't for a lack of trying. Nice confirmation that we saw him on his feet and alive. And uh, like we said, you know, thank you. Can't, can't thank the landowner enough for being uh, gracious enough to let sure. us come back here and give it a try. So, so you know, if you're a hunter and if, if you ever run into a situation where you didn't see your deer go down or if you think the shot was less than ideal, the very best thing to do is back out, call your nearest tracker, um, and um, at least talk to them about scenarios. Uh, a lot of um, asking questions is free and a lot of trackers will absolutely take the time to answer your questions over the phone. All the Midwest states have a network. Um, contact them or you can go to unitedbloodtrackers.org um, and look up a tracker nearest you. I'm Gary for Alex and Diesel. This is Midwest Outdoors. Thanks for watching.